Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're getting an authentication error occurred, the function request that is not supported, and you're trying to access the remote desktop connection when doing so. So this tutorial will apply for Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 10 Professional and Enterprise versions. Windows 7 and Windows 8 does not have this issue because we're going to be going through the local group policy editor, which some of you might be aware of that in Windows 10 Home Edition they no longer included. So I really don't know what to say about that, but I just wanted to put that out there. So we're going to jump into it and we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Just left click on the start button one time. You want to type in GP Edit. Best match should come back with Edit Group Policy above Control Panel. You want to right click on it. And then left click on Run as Administrator. You just want to left click on it one time. Make this a little wider here. Now I'm going to go underneath the computer configuration of the first section. Then I'm going to expand Administrator Templates, either double click on the folder or left click on the little arrow next to it. Then you want to expand System, so again the same thing. And now you want to go down to Credentials Delegation, so left click on that one time. Where it says Encryption Oracle Remediation, you want to double click on that one time. You want to go and left click on Enabled. You want to go over here. Now for this specific connection, if you're looking to turn it off, I would suggest turning Protection Level to Vulnerable. Despite what it says, assuming you know what kind of connection you're connecting to, don't really put too much thought into it. I would always suggest going back to Mitigated or force updated clients down the road. I mean, that's just being a little bit more paranoid about it. It really is a personal preference, but if you're coming into this error, that means you're probably going to have to turn off the protection level at least to run this one connection this one time. So I'm going to set it to vulnerable and then left click on apply and OK. Just assuming you guys know what you're doing if you're even coming on this video. You're more than welcome to just undo what we just did later on. Just double click on it, set not configured, and then you don't have to worry about it. So I would suggest restarting your computer as well at this point, and hopefully then you can go into your security settings when you're logging into your network and just type it in, connect to the remote desktop connection, and hopefully you won't have an issue anymore. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out, and as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.